हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल एस आर के पुणे अकेडमी हु स्टैग लाइन इज मेड सिंपल टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ टॉपिक इन टोटल प्रोडक्टिव मेंटेनेंस दैट इज ट्वेल्व स्टेप्स फॉर द टी पी एम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रोग्राम दिस टॉपिक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन टी पी एम इम्प्लीमेंटेशन सो प्लीज स्टे विद द चैनल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एंड वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग ऑफ दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी विल एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड four stages and 12 steps for the tpm implementation program first we will start with implementation of tpm an excellent way to get a deeper understanding of tpm is to walk through an implementation example this presentation provides a step by step road map for a simple and practical tpm implementation now we will see steps for the tpm implementation program there are four stages and 12 steps for the implementation of tpm Stage 1 is introduction preparatory stage contains step 1 2 3 4 and 5 stage 2 is start of introduction contains step 6 stage 3 is introduction execution stage contains step 7 8 9 10 and 11 and stage 4 is establishment stage contains last step 12 we will understand the details of each stage and steps under it we will start from stage 1 is introduction preparatory stage establishing a preparatory system for the implementation of tpm means creating before the kick of conditions in which all members sufficiently understand what tpm is its goals and how to implement tpm the introduction phase consists of five steps form timeline perspective this stage should consume 6 to 8 months time frame it involves five steps step 1 declaration of the resolution of tpm implementation in the organization by top management a formal announcement of tpm implementation plan and top management's commitment is declared the same information is multiple times repeat in board meetings internal communication meetings through internal communication mediums like internal newsletters and bulletins so that all the employees are equally communicated step 2 TPM education and campaign publicity campaigns are initiated and TPM orientation sessions are held training for senior management middle management and junior management employees on TPM course is initiated staffs of same level are scheduled together for general employee slide show meetings and other communication meeting forums are used horizontal and drop banners standing signboards posters and catch phrases are all used in the tpm introduction campaign now step 3 establishment of tpm organization setting up of steering committee formation of tpm pillar wise subcommittees are done a central tpm office or tpm promotion secretariat may also be formed to have a channel of central communication and coordination organizational model may be formally restructured to have management led pilot models established this is the one of the example of tpm organization and its relation with other areas and peoples in the organization from top management to bottom line operators it shows total involvement of peoples in tpm now step 4 setting of tpm policies principles and targets tpm program objectives and policies are clearly defined maybe with respect to industry benchmarks past performance prediction of effects or industry competition business objectives are built in line to the tpm policies principles and targets survey of all the breakdowns accidents quality defects losses and leakages are done in this phase and a baseline is established to critically define the improvement indices step 5 formulation of tpm implementation program master plan A complete step wise master plan is formulated form introduction preparation stage to undergoing the TPM excellence certification examination. The timeline of the master plan may vary based upon the type of organization, complexity of processes and adaptability of employees. With respect to the master plan annual target plans, quarterly activity plans and monthly schedules may be derived. The image shows a complete stepwise sample master plan for the TPM implementation program. Now we will see stage to that is start of introduction only after sufficient preparation in the preparatory stage 
should the introduction or kickoff of TPM be implemented? A period of three to six months required, depending upon the size of business, to complete this stage. This stage includes the sixth step, that is kickoff of TPM. This step may take one to six months' time to get concluded based on the span of customers, suppliers, cooperative companies, and other involved agencies. Step six, kickoff of the TPM implementation program. This step involves inviting the customers, suppliers, associated companies, cooperative companies, relevant interested parties, and involved agencies and officially inform them about the organization's resolution for TPM implementation program. Now stage three, that is execution stage. This stage includes five steps. Based upon the span of organization, the robustness of the processes, status of improvement indices, and involvement of employees of all levels, the timeline may differ from two to five years. This stage involves five steps. Step seven, establishment of system for maximizing the production efficiency. This step aspires to have ultimate production efficiency and effectiveness by using four pillars of TPM are KK, JH, PM, and E and T. 7.1 Kubit Sukhazen. Deploy shop floor teams and special project teams to pursue project team activities and workshop based small group activities. 7. Point to Jishuhosen. Introducing and nourishing the concept of self initiated checks, diagnosis, conduction of audits, and closure of the open points by the operator running the machine. 7.3 Planned Maintenance. This step is about achieving zero breakdown conditions while practicing corrective, periodic, and preventive maintenance. 7.4 Education and Training. This step is about training and developing the concerned team leaders to build a through knowledge on machine equipment and processes. Continuous education and training will raise the technical expertise and know-how of the team leaders and the same team leaders will be involved in percolating passing on the same to the team members. Now, Step 8. Establishment of Early Equipment Management Development Management In this step, the key concept is establishing initial phase management system for the new products and vertical startup along with machine health checkup during purchasing is monitored for new equipment. The objective is to develop easy to manufacture product and to have easy to maintain equipment. Target is to achieve a zero maintenance machine. Step 9. Establishment of quality maintenance system. Establish and sustain zero defect conditions is the objective of this step. It focuses on creation of conditions in which defects do not occur and the maintenance management of those conditions. Step 10. Office TPM for administration and support. This step focuses on creation of systems for improvement of efficiency of administrative indirect departments. Support the production department to increase own efficiency and develop more effective office equipment. Step 11. Establishment of safety health and environment. This step is focused on creation of systems to establish a controlled work environment from the perspective of safety, health and environment. The objective is to create systems to establish a culture of zero accidents and zero pollution cases. Now, stage four, that is establishment stage of TPM. This is the final stage of TPM implementation program where all the concepts of TPM is considered to have been institutionalized and it is the stage of consolidation. This stage is only having single step, that is step 12, and may take maximum six months to conclude. Step 12, complete implementation of TPM and targeting improvements. In this step, all the activities related to TPM implementation is considered to have been accomplished. Consolidation of all level is done and the organization is undergoing examinations for PM awards. At the end of the step higher, more stringent and tough targets are taken and futuristic roadmap is plotted. These 12 steps are very important to be managed effectively and 100% employee engagement needs to be ensured by the organizational management team during the total implementation process. Thank you for watching and understanding presentation. To get such important presentations, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Do comment and let us know how you like this video.